What is up YouTube? It's Grinch and in front of me is every single Lego minifigure from the Hobbit trilogy of movies. And despite being almost 10 years old, these are some seriously great minifigures and they still stand up to today's quality and standard that we know. Today we're going to take a closer look at the top 10 most expensive minifigures from the Lego The Hobbit collection. Now before I get started, I wanted to mention that for their value, I'm going to actually be changing it up. I'm actually going to use the average selling price for each of these minifigures over the past six months on BrickLink, so actual sales data. Starting this list off at number 10, we have Azog, who was featured in two sets. One was a Comic-Con exclusive, and the other was the Dolgodur Battle, and both were released in 2013. Currently, Azog cost $33.50. This was the first version of Azog that we got, and it's really a, a really solid and good first attempt. The head uses a kind of custom piece to give him a larger looking muscles, and he's got a really cool custom claw piece for an arm that makes him really unique as a minifigure. Up next at number 9 we have Azog with a wide open mouth that was released in one set in 2014 called the Battle of Five Armies and the wide open mouth Azog currently costs $36.50 so slightly ahead of that first version. Really the only difference with this version is that he's got that wider mouth opening print otherwise it has that same unique claw piece, that same head extension as well that we saw on the first version. I think the Battle of Five Army sets generally sold were so there was probably less of these in circulation than the first version. At number 8 we have our first dwarf with Nori. He was released in one set in 2012 called the Goblin King Battle and he is currently around $39.50. He has a pretty detailed torso print that really is really good and still stands up to what we expect today. And he's also got a really cool custom hair piece that is quite unique. I haven't really seen anything else like this before and I like how that hair piece matches up to those eyebrows on the head printing and, and, and that looks really good. He also also comes with an alternative face that you can't really see because the hair piece and beard cover most of the face, but he does come with one. Coming in at number 7 is Galadriel. She was in one set in 2014 called the Witch King Battle and she currently cost $41.50. What an awesome minifigure with a really cool cape as well. There's a ton of just metallic details on the torso and the legs and then that inside of that cape which make her quite unique for a minifigure. She was missed in the Lord of the Rings sets unfortunately but I'm glad that we were able to get her in the Hobbit sets because you can actually use her for both collections if you really wanted to. She has an alternative face print too and it looks really great and it's a really good use of an alternative face print too. The hair piece and crown piece are also a really cool combination mold. The sixth most expensive Hobbit minifigure is Thorin Oakenshield with a gold armor and crown. He was released in one set in 2014 called the Battle of Five Armies and currently cost $53. This crown and hair piece is just awesome. At the time of release, these kind of dual molded pieces or just dual colored pieces with a hair and then that head accessory were pretty uncommon. So this was really impressive at the time. I, we see it a lot more these days. The torso print is also great and it really captures his armor look really, really well. He also featured an alternative face, which is another pretty good alternative face print in my mind. It's different enough to really stand out for me. At number 5 we have Gloin the Dwarf who was released in one set in 2012 called the Barrel Escape and Gloin currently cost $53.75 and he is a really just solid minifigure. The beard and hair piece is great, the torso print is solid and he also has a nice alternative face too. However you can't really see the alternative face with all of the hair piece covering it so it, it almost kind of pointless in my mind but that's okay. Of course, he also uses the small legs too, and those are pretty plain, which makes sense because they, they really don't print on small legs, so no, no nothing wrong there. 
The fourth most expensive minifigure surprised me, and we have Oin the Dwarf, who was released in one set in 2012, also called the Barrel Escape. It was that same set that we saw Gloin in, and this dwarf currently costs $56.75. Another really cool hair piece and beard combo piece, this time with multiple colors, and there, there's that gray hair and that white beard, and it just looks great in combination together. I also really like the facial expression of of this minifigure and of course he's got an alternative face print too. The torso print is good but really nothing special. At number three, we have Radagast the Brown, only released in one set in 2013 called the Dol Guldur Battle, and he currently cost $59.25, and he is a pretty great minifigure that features a beard and hat piece with a tan feather plume, as well as a brown cape. I actually really like the torso print here too. I think it looks great, and there's a lot of nice, subtle details to it, and it's really just a step above average. He also has an alternative face print that works well and fun fact that tan plume is actually worth about $50 on its own and was only ever released on one other minifigure which was Angelica from the Pirates of the Caribbean sets. If you find a cheap deal on this minifigure chances are it's probably missing that tan plume piece. The number two most expensive minifigure is Dane Ironfoot, and he was released in one set in 2014 called the Battle of the Five Armies, and he currently costs $70.75. Another really awesome minifigure here, and one of my favorites from this list. Dane has a great torso print, and he has some flat silver arms, which is pretty uncommon to find on a minifigure. His helmet piece is also just really cool and the highlight of this minifigure. It just has some really nice details on it and it's just unique and a great molded piece. His torso print is also highly detailed and of course he comes with an alternative head print too. So that leaves us with the most expensive minifigure from the Hobbit trilogy and that is the Hobbit himself Bilbo Baggins with a blue coat. He was released in one set, or should I say an item, in 2013, and he takes a huge jump in price and comes in at $172, 100 more dollars than the second most expensive minifigure on this list. He was released in a Target exclusive Blu-ray pack for The Hobbit, an unexpected journey movie, making him extremely rare. And on top of that, he's just a great minifigure. It is, his torso print is excellent. It is so detailed, and in my opinion, this is one of the best versions of Bilbo available. He also has an alternative face, which is a theme in this series, and they really outdid themselves with alternative face prints overall with the Hobbit sets in my mind. What a great version of Bilbo, though, who is rightfully the number one on this list. So that is the top 10 most expensive minifigures from the Hobbit trilogy of movies. What is your favorite minifigure from this list? Personally, I love that blue coat Bilbo, but Dane is also a really cool minifigure. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and joining in the conversation in the comments section below. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.